and we're chatting to Chef Brad, Chef Kyle and Chef Alicia at Peddlers & Co. Um, about the new Valari menu and the changes to uh, a very cool section of Peddlers. Um, so can you maybe just describe to us how the menu's changed and um, what it uh, sort of uh, entails? Sure. Just, uh, so for a long time, Valare was, um, uh, was sort of strictly Italian, and um, uh, we've gone ahead and made some changes on decor and our menu approach. And um, yeah, the evolution of food and menu is fantastic because what happens is you get to read your customers, you get to get a good idea of what you what you can do and can't do um, uh, in, your, in your kitchen or the space that you have. And uh, what we realise is that we need to go back to our roots, where kind of where we all come from. And uh, that's sort of like yeah. A finer sort of cooking and a finer technique that we're using, but uh, still going back to that sort of like classic bistro uh, style. Where it's simpler, but we're still using the best possible ingredients. We're using rad techniques. And Alicia's joined us now, and our desserts have gone sort of to the next level. You know? and, uh, and Alicia's approach is about the same as ours. We use the best possible ingredients that we can get. Um, we can keep it simple. Um, we just wanted to make and. Um, just making sure that whatever we use is um, that whole approach of, of, uh, of organic and uh, how can get out of the kitchen but, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, but you know we, we've, we've got a whole farm I mean you, you love going out there and, uh, and uh, picking uh, you know, some but it's also the first time the basics of you using very little but this value might be any kind of sense of the world. Oh, okay. Placed in your mouth, it doesn't feel like it's just five things. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, so look at it. Some keeps it very clean, everything is smooth, and everything comes together. But then you've got your classics, but it's not classic. That's, let's take something very modern, but it was a very good day. Why can we push this? How can we change it? That modern piece is that guy. Yeah, we want that. We want that, that wow factor on almost every single dish. No? South Africa is traditionally a, a like a, a steak and potato or steak and chip culture, you know. And uh, we don't mind doing that at Valar. We really don't. No? Um, and what's nice is because we've moved out from Italian, we don't mind doing that steak and chip. But if we're going to do it, we're going to do like next level steak and chip. You know? We're going to know exactly what potato we're using, and we're going to do it differently. Maybe we're not going to do hand cut. We're going to change the idea of what we do. You know, the steak's going to be the best we can possibly get. Um, uh, Sometimes we will, we'll simply grill a steak, you know, medium, medium rare, medium well, whatever you want. We, we have to do it because we're buying a great product. Uh, but then, yeah, every now and then we want to take something, we want to cook it super heat for 72 hours. Yeah. Uh, it's four of the bones, super tender, if we do flat grill, or if we do uh, pork belly, we can do it for 16 hours. So our approach is sort of using modern techniques, but doing old classics. Uh, you know, we've got a great lamb shank pot, everybody loves lamb shank in the uh, winter. Uh, and it, and it sells and it moves, yeah? and that's what people want, and that's what they enjoy. Um, and then yeah, every now and then we'll throw in a couple of the interesting things that you know, I love, you know, and uh, a little, a little you know, lamb's brain sandwich. Uh, not for everybody. Um, but, not for the uh, sake of that, who can we get Not for Alicia. Uh, but you know, we, we want to push those boundaries and make people understand and, 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 and know that that's what we're doing. But then the nice thing is just the black one. I think it's stuff. So you've got a set of new black high resistance that can sell the bike itself, but I get to express myself with me, everybody in town. That's you don't specific, that's not to you, that's anybody. That's no longer set and stuff. That's, let's play. What can I do? What can I change? Why can I do better? And like I was saying, it was close to bottom once upon a time. I experimented with shit, that's why I got the freedom. I can play, I can have fun. And I get the action resistance. Beat the game, it seems yeah. What do you want? What can I make for you? Let's hope they make it good else. And then your uncle for perfect is it? Uh, like it was supposed to be like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen, that, that chocolate from Don is like, it's, it's next level stuff, you know. That is, that is, I mean, you've got, you've got to follow into that. Not to mention your cheesecake. I mean, you go, yeah, when, when I said, well, let's put a cheesecake on for me, it's like, oh, cheesecake, you know, I mean, how much, how cliche can you get? So, but but it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely insane. Um, like I was talking about the blackboard situation, um, I had the cheesecake mix and I was like, what can I do with this? And I was like, oh, let's just mix apple crumble and apple pie and cheesecake and sort of come up with a high 